Now, let's speak the uh, finalists in our next category. It is the mid-size public company category. First, we have Mark DeVita, Heritage Crystal Clean. Next is Scott A. Musil, First Industrial Realty Trust. Our next finalist is Richard W. Pelkey from Hydric and Struggles. And we also have John W. Shane from PC Tell Incorporated. Let's give them all a nice long round of applause here. All right, now to announce the uh, recipient of the mid-size uh, public company category, please welcome Breck Hansen of Associated Bank. Breck is an executive vice president of uh, Chicago, the Chicago market president, and the head of the commercial real estate bank right here. Breck, over to you. Good evening. Associated Bank is proud to be the primary sponsor this year and for the entire five years of this award ceremony. I have the pleasure of announcing the mid-sized public winner. This CFO is a strong leader, very transparent, okay? <laughs> Any guesses? <laughs> and an excellent communicator who builds trust with the board of directors and investor community. This CFO was a primary negotiator in a key acquisition that today contributes half of the company's EBITDA growth and has significantly diversified its, over product, its, its overall product offerings. This CFO is a key leader in the evolution of a corporate culture focused on individual performance to one focused on working as a team, we've heard that one, leading to better overall company performance. The recipient of the mid-sized public company Chicago CFO of the Year Award is Richard Pelkey. Well, thank you. Um, I'm pretty surprised. But um, it's a deep honor. I'd like to thank FEI, in particular the sponsors for tonight's event. Um, Don and your leadership in the event. Otis, your leadership in the chapter. And uh, the selection committee. Uh, for the vision to celebrate financial leadership in this manner. To my fellow finalists, Mark, Tom, and Scott, I'm as surprised as anybody that I'm up here and not you. Congratulations on the evening. Two nights ago, when I, was, I, I thought about what I might say up here, and I was, at a, I was in London attending a dinner for my firm's key clients and relationships, and the topic of leadership was dominant in the room. In today's volatile and complex world, you can imagine the mood in the wake of recent events, where many of us in global companies probably spent the last weekend worried about our colleagues and teammates and where they were, uh, as many of us uh, were doing. Um, for FEI to take the time and celebration and recognize the development and uh, celebrate leadership success in this manner for all of us, is a real uh, cornerstone in, uh, in leadership, and that's what our firm is all about, and, and you should be applauded for doing so. Um, I have great support from my, from my organization. Tracy Wollstonecroft, our CEO, was a big supporter of me in this process. I'm deeply grateful to him. Uh, anytime leadership comes up in a conversation, he sets an amazing example. Uh, our stated purpose is we help our clients uh, change the world one leadership team at a time. And that brings me to the most important part of tonight, my team, uh, many of whom are here tonight. And you heard them very loudly. Um, this is an award about them, not me. Uh, they challenge me and they inspire me every day. They also make fun of me um, because they're smarter than I am. Uh, but I'm extremely grateful and we're gonna find a way to celebrate this with the team. Uh, and I'm sure it's gonna be at my expense, very much so. <laughs> um, and last but not least, I'm blessed with family. My wife, my daughters, my, uh, their spouses, my grandchildren, they give me purpose and allow me to do what I want to do. 
And uh, that really drives me. So thank you very much. I'm very honored. Mm -hmm.